Playing for us today, right now, is going to be the Mecula. And uh, surprisingly, they're not from Temecula. They're from Sacramento. Have you ever been introduced like that before? Uh, I have never had anyone get the Temecula reference. Oh, okay. So at first, right here on live radio, uh, these guys are from Sacramento. Uh, they've been uh, playing for, I guess, two or three years now? Yeah, it, I think it would be like about three and a half, almost four coming up. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind just introducing the group? Uh, yeah, this is, um, so uh, my name is Nick Benz. Um, uh, back here on the drums is Peter Bell. Uh, on bass, Andrew Mearns. And with us today is Levi Sailua on alto saxophone. Very good. And you're going to be playing uh, four songs for us, I believe, today, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to ask you to play two in a row, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit, and we'll, we'll do it again. But before that, uh, you've been on my radio show, Listening Lyrics. Uh, community radio is all about uh, sharing what's going on in the community, whether it's music, politics, schools, whatever, uh, and all sorts of music, even a gardening show, if you can believe it or not. Uh, could you just tell me a little bit, one of you might want to say something about how important community radio is for budding artists, young or old? Um, I mean, any opportunity that folks get to come together as a community and share something, whether it's music, arts, education, um, is a valuable and important opportunity um, for folks to get to learn something from one another, uh, to see what's happening in our community around us, to connect with one another. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, I'm for every opportunity that we get to connect. Perfect. Thank you. You know, I think maybe you can take over as host and I'll beat the drums for a little bit. How's that? <laughs> What's the first song you're going to play for us? Uh, this uh, next tune is called Miko. Miko, and after that? Uh, jump to the top. Jump to the top. Okay, we're going to have the Mecula playing. Thanks for listening, and we'll uh, hear you on the other side of the second song.
That's awesome. Uh, let me ask you a question. What drew you to jazz instead of rock or country or another venue? Um, one thing for me specifically, you know, um, <clears throat> was um, I discovered jazz and got really into it when I was in high school. And I uh -huh. um, an opening happened in the jazz band kind of randomly, and I um, they asked me to play. And I think I love the communal or like the community nature of it it's right. a kind of genre not that other music doesn't do this but jazz i think specifically draws a lot of people together um i like that everybody is always working on songs um that everybody could always play together like jazz standards and stuff everybody knows all these different songs and we can just come together and without even saying a word be like yeah, experiencing something together it's cool you're listening to kdrt 95.7 we're in the middle of a bandathon the mecula is playing right now they're going to play another couple of songs for us uh you mentioned the community aspect of it. Of course, that's a, a, a nice segue into this whole community radio. Uh, you you are a group now, but in the near future, you're going to be going to different schools, I believe. What's, what's going to happen to the band, or you just take a recess for a while? Um, right. So in a couple in a month or so, I'm going to move away. Um, but I think we're we're kind of seeing it as a temporary hiatus. You know what I mean? We're not really sure what's going on. You know, we we have some recordings that we've been working on and stuff like that. That um, you know, even as I am kind of moving away, we hope to be putting out and sharing with people. And um, you know, we uh, not really sure what's going to happen in the future. But yeah, yeah. who knows, right? <laughs> who knows? Uh, in the next couple of songs, uh, what are they called? Uh, this next one's called uh, Strength, and um, this one has a little bit of a story to it. It was one of the first songs that we kind of wrote as a band together. And um, really, we, we kind of, um, as we started writing this song, we realized that it, it had a story to tell us, and it was sort of us up to us to sort of figure out what that story was. Um, but what we ultimately kind of settled on was that this story really is kind of about, about our brothers and sisters who are experiencing homelessness 
and are in our communities now um, and almost go unnoticed um, and sometimes maybe even silenced or pushed aside or forgotten about. Um, and so this this song kind of uh, kind of drops us into the perspective of someone who is maybe in mental health crisis or um, is certainly experiencing some form of homelessness and um, is just feeling alone and isolated. And as people pass by, you'll hear these shushes that come from us and they sort of signify society or people just kind of silencing this person either um, actually or just with by just ignoring them or passing them by. And so this is kind of what that song is about. And you know, the first time I saw uh, you guys perform was at uh, Luna's and uh, you explained just as you did now the meaning of this song and I can remember sitting there listening to it and I was just taken away because walking into Luna's I was approached by a homeless man and I ignored him you know I was on my way to buy a beer and uh, I kept seeing his face while you were singing this so uh, it, it, uh, it did stir something up in me and I hope the listeners will uh, pay attention to there's no lyrics but but uh, the music itself speaks loudly the mecula
Wow. Thank you, guys. Unbelievable. What a beautiful, beautiful set with sound effects. Amazing, amazing sound effects. Who comes up with these ideas? Um, well, uh, I've uh, written like a lot of the tunes for uh, like, you know, putting together the charts. But I mean, really, it's a collective effort amongst everybody. You know, they they wouldn't be the same if um, everybody didn't bring some, you know, their own unique personality and playing to the table. So it, I would really say it's a collective effort. So you're not writing in there that the bass player has to tap on the bass. Oh no, no, yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's very loose. I mean, you know, it's it's it kind of almost looks like you know just like a standard lead sheet that you would just like print offline or find in a right. fake book or something like that. But then we kind of build them into these. Um, it's just like a skeleton, you know. We put all the um, parts. To it. Well, we want to thank you guys for uh, for doing this. It was a beautiful set. If this is your kind of music, it doesn't get any better. And uh, I'm almost af ashamed to say we can't pay you guys. You're <laughs> contributing this. It's just we're sitting in the audience. It's just awesome. So thank you.